Hello everybody. Today's video is not going to be about this town car, which is one of the most American cars that probably ever existed. Today's video is going to be about this bicycle, which is probably the most Chinese thing that ever existed and most likely the most Chinese thing that I've ever owned. So a little bit of a backstory. So I live in a condo buildings here, right? Not not super fancy, but you know, I call it home. And you know, I haven't really owned a bicycle in a long time. And this year, my son learned how to ride a bike without the side wheels. So I was like, well, you know, I need to get myself a bicycle to, to kind of ride with him. Now this happened kind of later in the year. And I was like, well, maybe next year. But then I remembered that when I was looking for a bike for him, you know, a kid's bike, like I think a 12 inch wheels, something like that, I, I don't remember what they are, but I couldn't really find, like it, it was a struggle to find a bicycle for him. So I, I, I finally found one. And then what ended up happening, I was like, well, you know, if I wait until next year, I'm gonna struggle to find a bike for myself. And, you know, let me see if I can just find a cheap bike. I don't need an expensive bike. And the reason why I wanted a cheap bike was because in, in this condo place, we don't really have a, a storage for bicycles. So usually during the summer months, the condo association, they bring out these racks that they put somewhere, like they put them in random spots. Maybe this here, hold on. Oh yeah, yeah, right here. So this is gonna be interesting. So yeah, so they, they bring out these racks and they tell us, well, you store your bikes outside. Now, storing your bike outside creates a problem. Well, as you can see right here, obviously somebody drove over this bike because it's not even, it's not even tied to anything. You can see chains are all rusty. Everything, everything rusts, everything kind of you know gets destroyed and obviously we get these squirrels and the birds they destroy the seat you can kind of see on this one and then during the summer during the winter months they tell everyone to uh to bring them inside and that creates a whole set of other challenges which basically means that i have to drag it upstairs i live in the second floor and store it like in the basement uh, not in the basement on the balcony and we don't have any basement storage. So it's kind of a great problem. So I was like, well, let me get a cheap bike so I can store on the balcony and then uh, make it easy for myself. And I wanted to get a foldable bike, which I couldn't really find in a store anywhere. I checked Walmart, Target. I went to even like a specialty bike store, couldn't, couldn't find it. So I bought this. Here, let me stop for a second. All right, I, I didn't realize I was actually blocking somebody, you know, a parking spot. So I, a neighbor drove, drove up and gave me a dirty look. So I was like, all right, you know what, let me, let me just move away and kind of be in the park, you know. So we live in a nice area uh, next to a city park. So it's, it's about a mile and a half path here for bikes and for walking. And there's a ton of little critters. You can see there's a little squirrel there. Well, maybe you can see. Who knows? Anyway, so I was like, all right, well, let me go online. Let me find the cheapest folding bike I could find and buy it so I don't have to worry about it rotting away if I do end up storing it outside. Or during the winter months or maybe when it rains or something, I can, you know, fold it so it doesn't take up most of my balcony, which this one is. And let me see if I can make this whole bike thing work. And I did. I want an eBay, I, I want an Amazon, you know, Walmart, Target, all the standard. Look at this, look at this little guy. Okay, see I'm like Bill with uh, animals. <laughs> okay, I think the squirrel is lost. Anyway, so, sorry, nature moment. Here, let me see if I can zoom in. There you are. See, star of the show. Hopefully it's focused on it. All right, <laughs> sorry. Anywho, I found it on eBay. It was pretty cheap. I'll post the, the, the sewing you know, result on the, on the screen. And I was like, you know what? I don't care that it's cheap. I don't care that it's Chinese. All I want is a cheap bike that folds. All right, it's done. 
so I received it. It was packaged very well. I definitely wasn't planning to make a video about this thing. And all right, I put it together. Nothing was damaged. Everything was packed like, you know, a high-end, you know, $800, $900 bike. It didn't really come even, it, it wasn't even folded in half when it arrived. It was unfolded without the front wheel, without the handlebar, without the seat. But everything else was was already like the rear piece of it was was fully assembled it does have suspension that works it has has it in the front two shocks and then it has one in the middle the sticker came torn up but who cares uh and then i started putting it together i put it together relatively quickly and then i'm like and then i started noticing some very interesting thing a couple of defects like clear you know like unexcusable defects and we didn't even get to the funniest part this rear rotor you see it rubs up against the frame you see that like right there oops focus focus there you go so as you ride it so as i started riding it i was like okay like it's definitely like cutting into the metal and you can kind of see it already cut a nice chunk off because it was rubbing up against it and you have this frame and the reason for that is this frame was squeezed too much so basically it's a bent frame and then the second most egregious problem is that so it comes with three speeds in the front and seven in the rear. The rear speeds, they work just fine. The front ones, it doesn't shift. So it doesn't shift gears. Uh, so it has technically a transmission problem. Now you can manually finagle it. And I got it to, whoa, that's a weird bird. And I got it to work on the highest gear. And I thought to myself, you know what, that's fine. I can make it work on the tallest gear here because then i can manipulate the rear gears and it'll be just fine or i can manually shift it but to do it here for some reason it just it, it doesn't work now i can probably sit with it it probably has to do with this adjustment with this cable but the problem is i don't have the time or the skill set to to fix this myself plus you can kind of see the shifter cables kind of starting to split so it's an issue so here's the thing I wrote to the seller I told them all the options uh, all the problems that it had I took videos and pictures at the bottom line the seller told me uh, I'll give you half off you don't have to return it you don't have to do anything he said if you can get it fixed get it fixed and then send me a receipt I went to a bike shop they said no we don't work on these Chinese things we can't get the parts they're really cheaply made we can't promise you that we can fix it and we can't really fix a bent frame so uh, good luck with that. So we ended up settling on half off. And I'm like, well, for half off, what is it, like 90 bucks or something like that, I can make it work. I fixed it up. It's fine. It, I just rode it, you know, on the, on the park. I enjoyed it. It's fine, really smooth riding, too. Like, But then I started looking at this thing. I'm like, I understand that Chinese products are not really known for their high quality. But then let's look at this. Like, it looks kind of nice. Uh, you know, I like the fact that it's red. It kind of matches my kid's bike. I don't know what this is for with these two holes. It wasn't really clarified. Maybe there's some uh, attachment you can put on this thing. But then I started looking at the funny bits. So look at this. So right in the center, it says Oima Power. I have no idea what Oima Power is. It's not brand specific. I have no clue. Then it has a skull here. All right. So a skull. Okay, fine. Then you look here on these things. That's a, see, is that a, is that a car? Because that doesn't look like a bicycle. And it's a C01. So I don't, I don't know what that's all about. Now in the front, it does have Shimano, Shimano V-brake. So it's kind of like this brake shifter combo. Now I know that Shimano is a brand name, uh, you know, so I don't know, is it real? Is it one of those knockoffs where you can kind of see this C01 with what appears to be a car? I don't know, is that like a devil's tail? And then for some reason pointing forward. I don't know what that means. Now here, look at this. Feng Yun. So is it a Feng Yun? Or is it a Feng Ji Yun? Or is it a Feng Yun? Well, here it says Feng Yun, but here because of the stem, they couldn't figure out a way where to put it, so they split Fen and Ji Yun. I've never seen that before. Now here, it's a Heng Yuan 
da tire. Now, tire is in English. I don't know. Maybe it's... <laughs> so, they stuck at just about every label here that they could. Here's the skull again. So, here's Oima Power. Here, it's a daima. Let's see. How can I... There you go. Here's a daima with like a horse. So, that's like a knockoff Ferrari. I don't know what that means. Here, the shocks are Hong Yu. Hong, Hong Yu. So, there's that. Here, there is Jixon, Jixon, J-X. Here, there's a warning in English for whatever reason. And here, make sure that the spring something something against before writing. So here's in English. Here's Shimano, which doesn't work. Here, this is the funniest one. Daima with an AK-47 on it. Now, this has got to be the most Chinese thing I've ever seen. I mean, come on. <laughs> and yet, <laughs> right above that, it says strongman. So who is the strongman? Xi Jinping? Is, is he the strongman? And then this is how he's going to attack America with this AK-47 Daima? Now, also, this is the funny part. So here's a gun with Daima. Uh, here, I just realized that this skull has that picture of a horse from the front. And then the picture of the horse from the front also has daima on it. So what kind of a... So it's a horse daima. It's a skeleton with a little beret picture of a horse in there. And then daima with a gun. Yeah, I don't really understand how that works. Here you have, once again, Feng Yun, Feng Yun, Feng Yun, Fen Ji Yun. And here there's Feng Yun that's written. <laughs> Now, also, the seat has this interesting pattern. I don't know if you guys can see that. I, I don't know. Like, I thought first of all that, that it imprinted like this from the packaging, but it's not. It's So, I don't know what kind of design is that. So, now, the besides this, I know this video is going to be long. We're going to be go looking at a digital version of the manual that I downloaded for this. Because when I originally contacted the seller... I told him or her that, hey, there's a problem. Like, I can't get this thing to work. He's like, well, let me send you a manual. I'm like, well, I have a paper manual. He's like, well, let me just send you a digital. Maybe it's got a little extra steps for you to follow to fix the whole rubbing up against the frame, which you couldn't, obviously. I mean, it's a bent frame. Um, the, the shifting on the front, I could probably fix if I have enough time and skills, but I'm not too concerned with that. But yeah, we're going to be going inside and I'm just going to show you the manual. I mean, I understand that, you know, English is not China's primary language. I understand they have their own, but I mean, come on, you, they couldn't find somebody to translate the manual properly. All right, well, let me All show right. you. So we are back home and I opened up, as you can see, this is a PDF file that's uh, very Asian characters. I'm assuming it's Chinese. And of course, the cat needs to start doing what he's doing, which is tearing up the, the foam kids play mat. But in any case, so look, we got a bicycle instruction manual. All right, seriously, I'm going to kill this cat. Just stop it. <laughs> All right, bicycle instruction manual, nothing, no brand name, just a picture of the, the globe, I guess, of the map. Scroll down. Look at this. So I'm going to read it. I know this is a pretty unique uh, content. A lot of you won't care. But use product safety instruction. Obey the traffic rules. Don't run red lights. Don't grab Don't grab the way. What does grab the way mean? Please ride in strict accordance with local traffic regulations. Pay attention. Pay attention to observing passing pedestrians and vehicles to avoid and avoid reasonably, so I guess no unreasonable avoidance. Don't leave the handlebars with both hands to ride. Don't drag, don't drag racing to avoid danger. <laughs> what, what kind of a, what kind of a bicycle is this? Don't drive at speed higher than 20 kilometers per hour. Well, th there's no speedometer on on this bicycle, so it's kind of hard to judge. When driving at high speeds, the brakes must be lightly braked. All right, I'm serious. Just stop it, you cat. Oh, my God. 
do not break with both hands. Uh, anyway, it must be slightly braked first. So basically, it says just ride your brakes a little to slow down. <laughs> if the front wheel breaks suddenly, it will cause the car, the car, so it's a car, to roll forward and the rear wheel charging. So there, there's no period here, but it's capitalized. Charging directions. Oh, changing directions caused by braking. And also easily cause accidents. In rainy days, rain will weaken the braking ability. Please brake slowly in advance. Do not pick up the car. <laughs> Do not pick up the car. Okay, well, I won't. Or follow the motor vehicle because they may slow down and turn at any time. Don't be too close. Pay attention to the brake at any time. I don't even know what that means, but don't pick up the car. Do not touch things on the road with your feet when riding. <laughs> I don't even understand what that means. Earphones should not be worn during riding. This behavior will be distracting and you will not be able to hear the shouts and the horns <laughs> of motor vehicles. The shouts. Please don't park or stand up and rest in the middle of the road at will. Oh, I don't know who does that, but okay. When driving at night, even if there's street lights, its light intensity is only less than one tenth of a daytime. Please reduce the speed and drive with caution. Pay attention to the road conditions ahead. Foreign objects such as tunnels, sand. <laughs> so if you're driving, all of a sudden there's a tunnel. You're like, oh my god. <laughs> sand, etc. Judge the slowdown in advance. After the customer receives the goods, they must be installed and checked before they can ride on the road. So is this a car or a bike? I think they're still confused. During the ride, follow the traffic rules. If a customer fails to install and debug and debug in place, man-made damage violates the traffic rules and other non-product quality problems that cause danger. The customer is responsible for it. This whole thing is just a mishmash of words. But let's keep reading. Product application, okay, uh, I, I guess this is correct. I, have, I, I haven't checked any of this. But do not write or juggle with two people. So don't juggle with two people. And fold the handlebars. When the rider is, a riser is loose, it is forbidden to ride parallel or carry people. <laughs> what? Anomaly. An anomalies, oh, it's, I'm sorry, you see, I'm having a hard time keeping my cool. <laughs> anomalies found, deformation, cracks, loose screws, quick release is not locked. Riding is prohibited. Don't speed up when turning. Don't squeeze the brakes on one side and don't slam the brakes. When your child is riding a bicycle, keep your fingers away from brake handle. <sighs> What? Pinching? Yeah, I don't know. When driving at high speeds or breaking down, you know, the front brake cannot be used alone. Okay. Replace the brake cable in time, especially if the brake cable is open or broken. Always check whether the engagement between the brake components of the rim is, is accurate. Uh, the disc brake should always check the gap between the caliper and lailing film. The oil discs should be replaced. What? What oil disc are they even talking about? There is no oil disc. This is not a car. There's no like oil circulating through the engine or chain or don't install too many useless objects on the front of the handlebars, especially heavy object. What are they talk? talking? Talking about the little horn or bell? Uh, pay attention to them to the matching of road conditions and tires to ensure strong enough grip. When riding in a team, the teams must keep a distance, not side by side. Oh my God, this is this is too good. I mean, I, I knew that this was crap because like I had a paper copy of this and <laughs> this was just hilarious, but man, this is, I didn't read it this closely and now I'm just having a blast. So if you guys are not, I'm sorry. Damage caused by man-made object. Right, so this is a repeat. After refitting or changing the original regulations, colors, and replacement parts that are not originally designed by company. So what kind of... I don't even know what this means. Uh, 
yeah, I don't, I don't know what that. So here's the actual bicycle. All right. So, and keep in mind that the, I got the paper copies of this. Thank you for purchasing our products. So what brand is this? Still, nobody knows. Uh, mine is red. This one is black, but it looks like similar situation. Oyama Power, whatever. So this is how it came. It was unfolded with the front tire was like this, and it had to be, you know, connected, basically installed. Please be sure to read manual carefully after reading. Please keep it in a safe place for future reference. Wow, this is actually well written. When cutting, please be careful not to cause damage to the body. To, to whose? To the bikes or, or to my own? Uh, this was this all came with it except for the screwdriver. This screwdriver was not found anywhere in the package, but I used my own. But this little wrench was install the car seat. So once again, they think it's a car. I don't know. There's something that's got to be with the translation where where bicycle translates into a car. I don't know. Be sure to install the saddle first. So okay, if the saddle falls into the frame, it will be difficult to remove. Okay, so if you push your butt all the way down and basically impale yourself. Anyway, uh, tighten the screw, unscrew the seat tube, insert this. Oh, this is relatively okay. Lock the quick release, complete these. So it's almost like different person translated this. Install the handlebar. Uh, here it says when installing the handlebars, even though it's a one bar, pay attention to the left and right side. Keep in place with brake line. Okay, that's kind of, yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, yep, I did that. Place the top cover, rotate it. Yep, 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 yep. That's all oh, correct. In order to avoid damage to stem during transportation, the, the stem is inward and you should adjust it when you install it. I don't know what stem they're, they're talking about. There doesn't seem to be a stem noticed and like mentioned anywhere else. These little grippity things that they're black here and they looked a little different. So mine were red and I don't know what the deal is here install the vice i don't know what the vice uh, it's not a vice i guess it's like a hand grip when locking the screw don't lock it too tightly so not to rot the teeth of the screw so i think they meant to say strip the screw but for some reason it's rot the teeth of the screw <laughs> okay oh it says vice bar into the handle so it's called vice bar i'm sorry i don't know like the bike term so Install pedals, pay attention to different rotation directions. Okay, okay, um, okay, okay, okay. Install the disc brake, pay attention to the direction. Okay, yeah, I, I did that, so that was for the front tire. Ah, uh, screw rod, yep. All right, so maybe there's something funny in here, but I don't, I don't see it. I don't know, for some reason they have like little slashes through like the numbers. I don't know what that means. I think they probably copied and pasted from somewhere else. Uh, look at that. They have like the lines going through all the different numbers. I don't know. After installing the car, so here we go with the car again. If you find the disc brake is rubbing against the disc or the disc brake is uneven, contact customer service to obtain a debugging tutorial. So I did, this is exactly the, the, the issue that I had, but not with the front. The front was actually fine. The part that I assembled myself worked just fine. The one that they assembled at the factory in China in the back where the frame was bent that I showed you, that was the problem. And you can't fix that. It's a bent frame. Uh, installation is complete. Yeah, yeah, for the most part. I mean, it, looked, it looks like that. I think it's a little different model that they have. But here's that Feng Yun thing. Uh, the little suspension thing looks a little different like this whole component looks a little different because they have this on like on this side so they've like changed it a little uh the installation diagram so far the whole vehicle has been installed so now it's going to refer to as a vehicle not a car installation diagram steps are limited if you cannot fully if you cannot fully help you you complete the installation, please contact customer service. Well, customer service is in China, so I don't think there's going to be any contacting. The illustration is only for installation and does not include free accessories. Well, this, these little splash guards, they did come with in the package, so I don't know what they're talking about here. The front fender is fixed, the rear fender. So here they're talking about the fender, not like a splash guard. I don't know where they got the, the, the fender. Deer. If debugging is not good, remember to ask customer service to help you provide adjustment videos. 
So yeah, I did have a little problem here, and I think I know how to fix it. I just need more time, but yeah, I basically just need to like readjust the front de derailer gear. I don't even know what this means. I mean, this looks like a really bad uh, copy and paste. Uh, yeah. So in any case, um, it is recommended to find a professional car repairer to install it. To install what? There is no need to find a professional car dealer. The car dealers, dealers charge charges are more expensive and it will become a sales promotion to the customer. It is recommended that the customer and the car repairer are sent by friends to avoid the car repairer from misleading consumers. <laughs> what? What are they talking about? If there is no local car repair, please be sure to check the installation videos, graphic tutorials, installation re reminders, and then install. Customers with average manual capabilities suggest that you find a friend to help install it. If you do not understand the installation instructions, it is difficult to debug and install by yourself. You can contact your dedicated customer service. <laughs> so basically they're saying, don't go to a dealer, go to a repair. But a lot of times the dealer and like, so if they're talking about a car still, most of the sales dealership is the service. So it's like the same place. If they're talking about don't go to a bike sales shop, go to a bike repair shop. Well, a lot of repair shops, which is the one I, I actually went to, they're the same. So I don't know what the hell is that any of this means, but it's hilarious. Ah, uh, because bicycles belong in large packages, we use high quality cartons to perfect the to perfect or perfect the packaging. But long distance transportation inevitably has small amount of ballast and paint, and paint is not a reason for quality problems. Gifts such as gift bags are all wholesale from original factory due to limited incentive. Some problems after receiving goods are not part of after sales service. We will never send accessories with quality problems. Please forgive me. <laughs> after loading, if you find that the disc brake is rubbing against the disc, disc brake is not flat and the transmission speed problem, etc., or are caused by the displacement or collision of the equipment caused by transportation, please rest assured that this is not a quality problem. Well, in my case it is because the frame is bent. So it wasn't damaged. I mean, this box did come like it, it did look like this. It, was, it had straps and a lot of tape around it and individual parts had a lot of bubble wrap. So in my case, you know, when, when this component is squeezed together and it wasn't because of the packaging. So in, in my case, <laughs> you don't have to ask for my forgiveness, but <laughs> this is, forgive me. Uh, please rest assured. Okay, you need to adjust again to achieve good results. You can find a car. Here we go again. If debugging fails, consider your <laughs> company. If the debugging fails, you can consult with our company's technology. That's it. All right, guys, it's a long -ass video, but I just wanted to share this with you. I know this is just unique stuff and I'm, I'm having a blast just reading through this and just looking at it. And, and I know you guys, a lot of you are not interested, but if you are, I don't know. I think this is hilarious. I can't imagine that in the country of China, <laughs> they can't find like one person who, who can translate in English. Like I know they're just doing Google Translate. So it's like a literal translation, translation where a bicycle may, may mean a car for them, but who knows, right? But they just can't have like a one person just to, to read this, like who is, you know, relatively well versed in English, like me, like, you know, English is my second language. And I know I've been here most of my life at this point, but I can read this. I'm like, what does this even mean? Like, don't touch stuff with your feet. Don't drag race. Like they probably just copied and pasted some manual of a car. And, or, who knows? In any case, guys, I hope you enjoyed it for all it's worth. And I find it hilarious. Hopefully a couple of you will as well. Take care, everybody.